fish. I'm all about stepping out on faith. I'm just telling you. I always, I always have been. And this is a good night to be in the house. It is. Any night is a good night, night to be out in the house. That's what it takes. Come on. You don't stop. Boys. Somebody said it. <laughs> well, one of you, I'm glad one of you said it. Yeah. Oh. If you ever, if you ever want to read, I'm going to go to Jeremiah 48. Come on. Praise the Lord. Jeremiah 48. Like the Lord. The Lord's given me this. He's, he's already gave me this once. And I thought today, Randy, I, I got back into it, and he's been opening a little more up. A little bit here and a little bit there throughout the day. But I've only got one verse. Come on, That's all man. I've got. Come on. So you boys might want to get ready. It might not be very long at all. I don't know. All right. But you know, I want I want to be in the Lord's will in everything that I do. I don't want to I don't want to do one thing in my own. But verse eleven, Jeremiah forty eight, verse eleven. It reads like this: it "says Moab hath been at ease from his youth, and hath had settled, hath, and he hath settled on his lease." Yeah. And hath not been emptied from vessel to vessel, neither hath he gone into captivity. Therefore his taste remaineth in him, and his sin is not changed. That's the only verse that I've got. That's it. But I, thought, I don't know if everybody in here knows what, when it says settled on leaves is, or what leaves even are. Leaves is a drag, so to say. I think it's what one thing calls it. But I thought it's something that settles down in the bottom of yeah. wine. Yep. When you make wine, what Come you on. put in the flavor of that, when it falls to the bottom, Jerry, yeah. it, it's, it's leaves. It gets down in there. And, and it says here that Moab hath been at ease from his youth. Come on. Hello. And he has settled on his leaves. I thought, you know, I don't know. But I'm just going to try to follow the Lord the best Come way on. I know how, Randy. But I thought, you know, when it said Moab hath been at ease from his youth, I'm, I, I took it as a Christian. A lot of somebody that just got saved, maybe, you know, in their youth. And I thought it's been since their yeah, youth. Yeah. But I thought, you know, if we ain't careful in this, if we're not real careful in this, Jerry, we'll get settled on something. You know, the leaves is what flavors that wine or whatever it is that Come they on. made. And I thought, you know, what flavors a Christian is the Spirit of the Lord. It's what the Lord will give you to start with. It's Come that on. sincere milk. I thought it's the things that you, you really like. Come on, son. When you first got saved, you really Come liked on. it. It Preach. was good. It was sweet. It was yeah. easy. It was there. And I thought, if we ain't careful, we'll get settled right down in on top yeah, of that. And I thought, we don't want to go no farther than Come that. On. We'll be right there the whole time, Randy. I thought, we'll just be right there, Come settled on, right down on them leaves like that. And I thought, you know, you won't, you, every time the preacher hits the floor and preaches, if you ain't careful, you'll, you'll amen him, you'll go right along with him, but you've you just, you just sat still and let it pass you right on by. Amen. Come on. Come on. So that's the truth. Amen, preacher. Come on. I don't want to let it pass me on no, by. Come on. Come on. I want to catch what the preacher says to Amen. me. That's the reason I stand right there or sit, yeah. whichever it is, when Randy or Inky, whoever it is, hits the floor. I want to stand over there and oh, I want yes. to catch it. Come on. Come on, preacher. Come on. Come on, then. Preach it, son. I don't want to get settled on this. I don't, I don't want to get settled down in something that ain't going to help me no, no more. Come on. But something that's just going to carry me so far, Jerry, and then just leave me high and dry. Yep. And I thought I'm going to be going through the motions. I'm going to be, I'm going to be just come acting on. it out. I'm not going to be really on. doing what I think that yeah. I'm doing. It's just I'm seeing them do it, and I'm going to be trying to do it myself if I ain't careful. Come on, amen. That's good. Son. You know what them leaves do after a while? Come on. I've done some research on all this a while back. Not today, but I've done some research on all this a while back. When them leaves come down in there and they settle down in that bottom, you know what they eventually do? They crust. Yes, they, they crust, Jerry. They get hard and crusty. Mm. Come on. You hear that? Come they on. get hard and they get crusty. Come you on. know what that means? It gets stale. Yeah. Ain't no moving about it. Come on, son. 
So it just settles it. right down to the bottom. Oh, it ain't got no way of moving. Right. It ain't got no way of doing nothing. It just sits right there until somebody goes by and they scrapes it out. Right. Yeah. And when you place. scrape them pots out, what do you do with it eventually, Jerry? You toss it to the side and get rid of it. Oh, Not yeah. to say that the preacher will do you that way. Come on. Come on. Not to say that your brother or your sister will do you that Come way. On. But after a while, you're going to end up doing yourself that way. Come on, Anthony. Help him, Lord. Come on, son. Now, he has not been emptied from vessel to Come vessel. On. Come on. Mm. When you take that wine, that's how you keep it from crusting. Yeah. You empty that vessel over into another vessel. And then when it sits there and it does what it needs to do in that vessel, you'll take it and you'll empty it, Jerry, into another vessel. And you know what that's doing? Come on. It's not going to get crusted. Come on. It's not going to get stale. Come on, it's not going to settle Three. down to the bottom where it can't do nothing. Come on, it just sits there and it just goes, yes. goes to nothing, but it's going to keep refilling yes. and refilling and refill it. And if you'll have it in this way, Rick, I thought when the Lord gets done moving you from this side to this side, He's going to pour more into your vessel, is He not? And I thought when you get... When he, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I didn't have all come this, but I'm catching this as the Lord gives it to me. Come on, you preach it, son. Come on. You've got to be moved. Come on. Can you get that in your mind? Come on. You've got to be moved. Come on. The Lord has got to pick Come you on. up from time to time and pour you over into Come a on. different spot. That Come way on. you can learn a little bit more. That way you can get a hold of a little bit more spirit. That way you can get a hold of a little bit more of what you need to grow on. That way you'll have a better hearing ear when the preacher gets up. You're not just hearing what you want. You're going to hear what the Lord has for you. I got that way when you get poured from vessel to vessel, you're not just getting poured. You're getting refined. And what we need to be as Christians is we need to be well refined in this. Not in the wine and talk, talking on, about into a spirit. Yeah, we need yeah. to be well refined in the Spirit yeah, of God. Man, we don't need to get I settled in this. If we get any yeah, kind of settled, we need to get settled, rooted, and grounded on, in, the, in the Word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Great thing. Have you Come ever on, seen Lord. homebrew made? Come on, Jerry, Lord. you ever seen them make it? Ray, you ever seen them make it? Boys, if you've ever seen homebrew, mate, I'm not trying to bring nothing up and, and try to compare nothing. But if you get that stuff just right, you know what? You don't even have to stir that stuff. You can go to it and you can lift the lid up and you know what it's doing? It's a moving inside that bucket. It's a moving right down inside of that bucket. Wouldn't you like for something inside of you to where if you refine it just right, you don't have to try to get up and pump it, prime it, try to stir it up. But every time you turn around, if that spirit's a moving deep down inside of you. Come on, preach. Come on. Come on. Hey. That's a good thought. Bible says in that one spot, I don't know if it's in here or another book, but that's mentioned in about four different places of the book. But I thought it talks about maybe the, the wicked would get, they'd take them old drags, that, yeah. that old nasty stuff off yeah, of it. They would. they would strain it out and drink what was off of it. Yeah, they would. Didn't say them to appease them, did it? No. Are we listening? Are we, are we doing the right thing? Come on, son. Are we refining ourselves just right? Come on, where come are we getting settled where we at? Come on, Anthony. Are we getting to where we're at a certain point and we're satisfied come and we're settled and we ain't going to have it no more? Come we on, ain't going to get no farther. Well, I don't think so today. If we're going to get to heaven, we're going to have to keep moving up. That's we're right. going to have to keep going yeah. farther, Jerry. I thought even me, myself, I've had to swallow just a little bit so I can move right on by. That's right. Amen. Right. Hey, because if we ain't careful, we'll knock our own selves out of this. It's not just in the going out here in the sin of the cussing, in the adultery, the drinking, the fornicating. It, it ain't in all of that all the time. No, it ain't. If, <laughs> if you know to do good and do the not, what is it, man? It's sin unto you. And if you sit in the house of God and you start rejecting the Word of God without even realizing it, then you're sitting in the house of God sinning Amen. because that you can't let your vessel get no more full. Amen. 
Why? Because you're getting settled somewhere where you don't need to be. Come on, son. Is that all right? That's good. Is that all right? I don't want to be settled. No, come on. Not in this. I don't want to be settled in that sense. The only way I can say, men, I want to be settled is I want to be rooted. Grounded. Come on. And settled in the Word of God. Yeah. You look good at that. Preach, brother. Sounding good, yeah. son. Come on, no better preach. Are you satisfied? Come on. Amen. Are you satisfied? No, I can move up. Before, before anybody can say, they let, let, them, let them think on Come it on. just a minute. Are Come you on. satisfied where you're at? Come on. With your walk with Christ, are you satisfied with it? With what you can feel when the Lord moves on you? Come on, son. Are you satisfied with that? When you go to the to your prayer closet and you get down and you begin to talk with the Lord, are you satisfied with what you got between you and the Lord today? I'm not. I'm sorry. You can say, well, you need to be satisfied. I'll never be satisfied. I thought the other day when I stood over here and the Lord looked at my leg and feel that and start bouncing up when I was going to get the shelf. I did not satisfy me. I was trying to come up here and get just a little bit more, Sam. I thought even when the Lord does put that dance on my feet, I still ain't going to be satisfied. Don't think that that's going to be wrong, but I want to keep going on. Amen. Yep. Amen. Come on, sir. I want all the Lord to give me, brother. Now, I don't know this, but I've always heard. Yes. We'll go back to this. Come on. That wine. Come on. The longer it's aged, Come the on. better it is. Come on. That's what I've always heard. Come on. Is that true? That's true. That's true. How Come long on. have you been aged in this? Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about That's how many me. years have you been on, saying son. you're a Christian. Come I'm on. talking about how many years have you truly been aged in this? How son. many years have you said? Truly been rude. Meditate right. upon the Lord. Come how on. many how many t- how many on, years? Son. How long have you truly Come been on. aged in this to where you'll Come pray? On, son. You'll pray. Come on. Oh, hey, hey, we'll we'll speak speak up. Up. Age to where when the Lord hollers and says, Get up out of your bed and go in here and pray for me. He says, Bad money, he needs you. Aged in this when Come on, brother. When he just says, Go pray, just go pray. Yeah. Not even knowing who you're going to be a praying for. When he wakes you up at 3 o'clock in the morning and he says, Go pray. Randy, I've heard you say it many times. The Lord wake him up, go to the basement and pray. And what does he do? He gets up, he goes to the basement and prays. But you know what I've noticed about Randy throughout the years? He can preach a whole lot better than I can. I thought he can bring the Word out a whole lot better than I can. The anointing is so much stronger on him than it is me. But you know why? He's aged better than I yeah. am in this. He's better in this than I am. He has put more time in this Amen. than I have. Come on, man. Come I on. Have not win, he on. has win. He Come ain't on. got that in the bottom of that barrel and said, well, I'm just going to lay here a while. Yeah. Come on now. Whether you like it or Come not, on. this is just the truth about it. Come on. He didn't go there and say, I'm going to lay here a little while and see how long I can blow Come around. On. No, we ain't. Come on, son. Come on, Lord. Come on, Anthony. We Come ain't close. No, sir. Our way. No. Through this walk with Christ. No, we can't. Steve don't know it, but I was praying for him at 15 to 2. <laughs> Thank God. You don't have to raise no hands. Thank God. How many? Thank How God. many tonight? Including me. Thank if the Lord God. told you to get up at 2 Thank o'clock God. and go pray for somebody, Thank you, Lord. would you have done it? Thank you, Lord. Would you have got up Thank out you, of Lord. your sleep? Thank you, God. And went. Thank you, God. I'm not talking about it. Randy don't just get up and flop over to his knees. Come on. No, he what do you do, Randy? Come on. He gets up, gets his shoes on. Come on. He goes to what I call his prayer closet. He does. Thank you, Lord. That's it. He goes to his basement. He does. He goes. Come on, son. He goes to where he knows he can get a hold of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. He don't get settled in a five minute prayer down beside the bedside. Thank you, Lord. You don't care to be using me, I know. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. How many of us? How many of us? I thank you, Lord. Are like them dregs. 
Oh, them leaves. Come on, Float. Come on, come on now. Come on. Floating around. Sound until good. it soaks Great. everything up. Then when it soaks everything up, it just begins to start come settling on. down. Come on. And then when it come gets on. down to the bottom, come on, son. some of us, come on, I'll give some on. of us the benefit of the doubt. Some come of us on, might man. wake up. Come that on, bump man. on the bottom might come give on. you a jar enough to wake on. you up. Come on, but I believe some is a falling down, Ray. Come on. And when they hit the bottom, they think, oh, this they rest done. feels good. They done. Huh? Come on. I believe I'll settle down here for just a little good, while. Come on. Come, on. Come on. Now don't get mad at me tonight. Oh, I can feel right. a little you bit of kickback. That's all Come right. On. Too. That's all right. You get down you there and you say, Come well, on. this feels comfortable down on, here son. today. I'm yeah. not having to strain myself. Yeah. I'm not having to put extra time in. Come on. And how many hours you worked the other day? What was it? 11, maybe 12 hours. He went ahead and worked it. Why? Because he was already there. I thought when I was at work, they said, do you want overtime? I'd say, sure. How many hours do you want me to stay? They said, well, until we tell you to leave. And I said, all right, that's fine with me. What's wrong with that with the Lord today? I thought you'll get down and you'll pray 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Get up. And when the Lord says, I'm not finished with you, you say, well, Lord, I'm awful tired tonight. Yeah. I've been guilty Come of that on. too. Come on, son. Believe me, I've not rehearsed this. Come on. No, I'm not with the Lord tonight. Come on. Come on, you preaching good, son. Lord, tomorrow I got an easy day. Come on. Come on. Let me just come on. Come on. Come Lord, on, I'm easy. tired. Come on. I'm weary, Lord. Come on. Lord, I can't even help myself, Lord. Son, you and you want me to me. get down here and pray for somebody else? You preaching good, son. Come on. Come on. I can't help myself. Oh, me. Lord, I'm just settled down here. Where oh, am I? Come on, that's all I can say. Come on, come on, son. Son. And if I have to tell the Lord, Lord, I can't even help myself. I've been there. Come on, I've been me. to where I couldn't help myself. Come on, son. I thought I've been to the point when I get down and I try to put a prayer in for myself, I didn't think it fell down. I oh, thought it was like it had concrete in it and it oh, fell through the floor and never stopped. It just went and went and went. It never went up. It just kept going down. Come on. But you know what I would still have to do? I would still have to pray. I would still pray for myself. But if myself prayers wouldn't get no good, you know Come what on. I would do a lot of times, Rick? I'd start praying for us. Yeah. But look, I can't help myself, but maybe you'll hear me to help somebody else. Amen. I wouldn't get in that and settle because I knew my prayers wouldn't get in somewhere. Come I didn't on. settle for that. Yeah. Come on, Is that all right? Yeah. I wasn't yeah. about to settle. Come and on. I still ain't Come about on. to settle for no. it. Come on. Come on, Matthew, you're doing good, son. Told you a while ago, I wasn't giving up on Molly and Trey. Yeah. No. 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 yeah. I'm not giving up on Bo. No. I'm not giving up on Jeremiah. No. I'm waiting on them. The Lord told me a way back. Come on, son. He showed me something, and I'll stand on it. Yeah. And boys, when the Lord shows you something, you can stand yeah. on it. So I'm just waiting. Yeah. Amen. I'm not saying. Hey, I'm not saying. Come on, son. I thought we'd go to the grocery store. I agree store. with you, brother. That fish is blown. He might be two ninety nine. Boris might be ninety nine. I on. might sell for that ninety nine. Come on, blown. brother. That's a different kind of thing. Come but on. when it comes to this right here, we don't Lord, I'm not sell. selling for second base. Don't don't if it ain't the pure, if it ain't the genuine, if it ain't what thus saith the Lord right here, I don't want it. Amen. It's garbage, son. I'm it's not selling else. for nothing else. And I'm not going to settle for a lifestyle of thinking, well, maybe my prayer will get on, through son. tonight. Maybe it won't. Come on, son. Come on. We come need on, to get out of that today. And then we also need... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We also need to get out of thinking, well, if I can't have the Holy Ghost, then I guess I'll just walk my way on through the rest of the way without it. Wrong answer tonight. If you ain't got it, quit settling that you ain't got it. Get down and try to find it tonight. You think that it just come to me overnight? No, it did not. It come through prayer, fasting, but most of all, it come through obedience. Obedience. Don't settle for it. You gotta dig in for it, brother. Don't settle for it. Come on, dig in. Don't settle for no less. Come on, dig for not having it. Come on. Break new ground. Come on. Praise Jesus. Why? Come on. Can I ask you, Come why on, would you settle without it? Man. Why would you settle without it? You know, before I got it, Randy. Come on. I would see everybody with it. Come on. Boy. Me too. Lord have mercy. You talking about putting a fart inside of me. 
Yeah. You talk yeah. about putting a desire yeah, and a savage, old boy. I, I had to catch myself. I was getting I, jealous I, I of got, it. I got to a point I was jealous. I said, Lord, I'm not settling for this. Yes, I did. I I'm not settling for this, Lord. Yeah. This is way years before yeah. this message ever come along. Come on, son. You preached right to me. And boy, I pressed. And I come pressed. On. And I pressed. Come on. And I pressed. Come on. And I'm going to keep saying it, Randy, because I had to press. Yeah. And I had to press. Come on, and I had to press. And Come I had on. to press. And when I got to where I thought, well, I pressed far enough, I need to stop right to here press. and settle out right here and wait for it. No. Uh -uh. I had press. to press some more, Sam. Yeah. Then I had to keep on going a little bit more, right? Yeah. Then I had yeah. to keep on, on going, Jim. Yeah. I had to press a little bit harder. Yeah. Then I had to press some more. Come on, Anthony. Keep pressing. I have to keep on pressing. Keep on pressing. Well, because this is a pressing yeah. play, whether you want to hear or not. We yeah. got to press. We do. Toward what? Yeah. Press toward the mark. <laughs> of what? Of the high calling. Of the high calling of God. Yeah. Which is in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Come on. What better thing to press for? Come on. Come on, Anthony. What better thing to press for? Come on. Press. Come on, brother. Are you settled where you at? No, no, sure you know how I know you ain't? Uh -huh. You come over here. Yeah. Not to say anything about come this on. church. Come on. But you was looking. Yes, sir. Been praying. You was trying to find. Been digging. Lord. Yes, sir. You was trying to find. Yes, sir. What the Lord really had for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they didn't settle. The Lord had me. I'm not throwing this toward nothing. Come on. Nobody. Come on. He wasn't going to settle for where he was at. No, I won't. No. He wasn't going to settle. Now I'm not saying place that you was at. Preach. Church. Preach. Preach. He wasn't going to settle Preach. for where you was at. Preach. In the Lord. In the Lord. Preach. You're preaching good. Yeah. Come on. Preach. Then you grow. Come on. My God. That's the truth. Come on, son. How many? How many settling tonight? Don't I'm don't no here. raise a hand. In your heart, nope. you better be honest with yourself tonight. No. I mean, truly, no. truly honest with yourself. Are you settling where you're at? No. Because I'm going to tell you something that the Lord showed me now, Randy. He showed you on that note. Come on. You should know this. You should have known this. When that revival was going on, Come on. Yep. they was people pressing with everything that they had in them. Everything Come on. they had, son. Come on, son. Don't get mad at me. I'm just going to talk to you now. No, People was pressing with everything that they had in them. Don't Donna, over here. you standing over here? I thought you was about to get it. Yeah. Come on. Have you tried since then? Don't answer. But have you tried since then? Come on, Anthony. <coughs> Preach, Anthony. Come on, son. Are you pushing? Come on, Are you man. pushing? As what happened? Was. Come on, Anthony. Did you not get to where you wanted to be? I'm not saying I'm not saying this is what happened to you. Did you not get right where you wanted to be through that revival, so you Come settled on, where you're at? I feel that like so. Or is it just Come the revival on. is over, so you're done for a while? Come on, preacher. I'm not done because revival's over. Oh, preacher, I'm man. here every night. Man. Every night when the doors are open, we're over here, and I can walk through that door right there. I'm here for yes, it. Me I'm too, here son. to me I'm too, here to do what the Lord had me to do. Yes, I might not every time get up here and go on Come and on and on with what the Lord, on, this, that, or the other, but I thought, you know what, the whole time I'm over here, I'm begging and I'm pleading yes. to the Lord, put a fire in me. Yes. Come on, yep. Come on. Lord. When that revival yeah. was over here, I thought how good it was. It ain't because he come over here and had the revival. It's because the people wanted a revival. Amen. They got hungry. They got hungry. Amen. You just got a desire in us. I did. Amen. Which I had a desire, but that put a better desire in me. You know why? Because I seen everybody I seen pushing. Of it, son. I seen people wanting yeah. to please the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Randy, I've seen people that said, well, I ain't settled with this no more. I've God. seen people say, Lord, put me up there where God you God. have me. I've seen people say, Lord, whatever you want, that's what I want to do tonight. Yeah. Well, what's wrong with tonight? Come on. Is that okay to ask it that way? Come on, son. What's wrong with tonight? Come on. This Wednesday night, right? Yeah. What's wrong with Sunday night? Come on. Yeah. Coming up. 
Come on. What's wrong with the next Wednesday night? Amen. Yeah. That's right. What's wrong with the following Sunday and the Wednesday and the Sunday and so on, on and so forth and go on each and every Come night? On. I know we're not up on the mountain every night and I know that. But how long has it been since that revival's been here? Come on. Come on, Anthony. How long has it been? Come on, son. It's been too long to see the people not pushing the way they would. Come on, son. You're putting food on the floor. I know that the revival Come is on. a big thing in every people's mind. But the boys, I'm going to tell you something. In my mind, it's church night. It's still night. church night. It's church night. It's church night. Right. Every night right. is church night. Right. It don't matter. Revival is to help us. Yes. Revival is just what it says. Revival is to revive us. It's to give us life inside us. Instead of having to go from Sunday to Wednesday, Wednesday to Sunday, we get every night in a row. I hate to have to explain it like this. <laughs> no, you're, doing, you're doing good. And it ain't me, it's the Lord. You're doing good. Yeah. Obey the Lord. All I had was that right there. Hey, what I read to you, that's all I had. You do just obey the Lord, son. Obey. Doing good. You're doing good. Why can't we? Come on. Any Wednesday. And any Sunday. Mm -hmm. Come through the doors. Come on, Anthony. And say, Lord. Come on. I can feel that begin to stir. Come on. Yeah. Great, son. Come on, son. Feel feel it, feel I can feel son. Come on. I can feel it earlier in the service. Yep. Yeah. I can feel that just like I talked about that old yeah, homebrew yeah, a while ago. Stirring inside itself in that bucket. Yeah. This ain't hey boys, that homebrew ain't got nothing on this. No, me tell you. No, don't. When this begins to move inside of it. Come on, son. Jerry, it's unexplainable. I can go over there to that bucket when that's where he's making that stuff and I can raise it up and I can see it. Come you on. can't see inside this, can you? No. no. See the effects of it. Come on, son. Oh, <laughs> You're doing good, son. Why would we preach? Preach, son. See the effects. Why would we settle? Come on, preach. Why would we go down yeah. to the bottom, lay there until we got so crusty hard that they, we ain't good for nothing? Come on, son. Because when we do that, guess what's going to happen? Same thing that happened to me a while back when I let work get me to the bottom. Same thing when I got to work, let me get crusty and hard. I had to work my way back up. Yep. And I'm still working my way back up. Do you want to have to work your way back up every time you turn around? Just because you settled for what you got? I hope not tonight because I don't want nobody to get settled. I don't want nobody to get comfortable where they're at. Come on, come on. Happy, Mark. We need to stir ourselves up yes, every night that we come in. We need to stir ourselves up every day. Yes. Don't wait till Wednesday night or Sunday night or a revival. Nope. Stir yourself. Yeah. Come on. Bless him more. Well, I don't come to church. Come on. Listen. Is it okay? Freaks, Me and him talk almost every day. Yeah. Yep. And it ain't. Nothing but we love each other. We're brothers. Yeah. And we've done this for a long time, Randy. We have. We'll call each other. We'll check on one another. Yeah. Call each other. Talk. Poke. Gouge. Aggravate. Whatever. But at the same time, we've had church. Him sitting right over here yep. at his house in me plumbing Bell County. Yep. We'd have, we have church have. over the phone. We yeah. have. This distance has got nothing to do with nothing. If you think distance has got anything to do with it, you think, where's the Lord at? He's all over the place. But distance has nothing to do with it. The only way distance will have anything with it is if you distance yourself from, from the Lord. He won't distance itself from you, but you can <coughs> sure distance yourself from Him. He may have preached. Come on. Stir yourself tonight. Come on. Get you a big old stirring spoon. Come on. And just begin to mix that up inside of you. Yeah. You know, another way we can put this is like Kool-Aid. Oh, Lord. Come on. If you take Kool-Aid, Randy, it takes three ingredients, does it not? Yep. It takes water. Yep. Kool-Aid. Yep. And sugar. Yep. Come on, Anthony, every morning. <laughs> now, if you put water in Kool-Aid, leave the sugar out, what's going to happen? It's bitter. You can, you can stir it, can't you? But it's going to taste nasty, ain't it? There won't be no count. Now, you can take water and sugar. Yep. Leave the Kool-Aid out, and you can stir it up. It'll be a sweet. 
How you got sugar? But it ain't gonna have no taste to it. Just gonna be a sweet sweetness in your mouth going down. That's it. But when you can take all three, put it down inside that and stir it just dry. It's some of the best drinking you could ever have. That's it. It is. And if you want to go a little step further, you could add you another ingredient in it. You Come could on. throw you some ice in it and stir that ice right up in it. And you know when you put ice in it and you start stirring it up, you know what happens? You begin to hear something. I like lemon. You begin to hear that ice hitting. Ting, ting, ting. You know when we stir this up, just right, I can hear a sound. That begins to make a racket. Yeah. Right here, I can begin to hear a sound. Come on, something. But we got to stir it just right. Yep. And we got to have all the ingredients in it. Yep. If we don't have the right stuff, Jerry, we can stir it all day long. Come on. And it ain't going to do us no good. Won't be worth a dime. Yeah. And you know if you take that Kool-Aid. Now listen to me. You stir it. And then take a spoon out and set it down. If you just give it a few little stirs. And lay it down. You ain't mixed it enough. No. It'll settle the bottom. go right to the bottom and settle. That's the truth. Then when you take you a big old drink of it, you ain't going to like it. Yeah. I love it today. I love it. Listen, we don't need to settle. No, we don't. We don't need to get settled in, in our walk. No, we don't need to get settled with what we have. Come on. We don't need to get settled any shape, form, or fashion right. at all That's except right. for being what? Rooted, yeah. grounded, yeah. and settled into the Word of God. Yeah. Right. That's the only kind of settling we need to do. Let's, let's, let's stir ourselves up. Go home tonight, stir yourself up at home. Tomorrow when you get up, stir yourself up. I work. Well, I do too, but you know what? I'm out there jackhammering even. And I'll be sitting there just meditating upon the Lord, getting stirred up right in a, you know, in a grave, digging it. It ain't that hard. No, it ain't. It ain't that hard at all. I should have known this a long time ago, and I wouldn't have had to climb my way up. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. I wouldn't have been where I was at before. I've been further than where I'm at now. Let's this, this stir ourselves. This, this don't get settled. Every night we come in here, treat it the same. Yeah. Don't matter who's here. Good word. Don't matter who's not here. Yeah. New night. So cool. It's a new night that God's given you. Yeah, man. It's a new night that you've got a chance to raise your hand and praise Him, worship Him in spirit and truth. Yeah. And do what you know to do instead of getting settled in your pew. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's right. Truth. I do.